Hello everyone, it's Not a Noob Pat, and welcome to Perk Review. Today we're taking a look at the level 30 Blight perk, Dragon's Grip. After kicking a generator, if a survivor interacts with that specific generator in the next 30 seconds, they will scream and have their location revealed for 4 seconds. On top of this, they will suffer from the exposed status effect for the next 60 seconds, which means they will go directly into the dying state if you hit them. This perk has an 80 second cooldown that activates regardless if someone interacts with the affected generator in the 30 second window. I know this is a bit complicated to decipher so I promise the video demonstration will help. The pros are that this perk allows you to put survivors directly into the dying state which is great. Then the 60 seconds of the exposed status effect is quite a long time. You should be able to find the affected survivor within a minute's time. The cons are that survive with friend groups are likely going to communicate with one another that you are using this perk and stop interacting with recently kicked generators for 30 seconds. Then, as I mentioned before, even if a survivor doesn't touch the generator that you use this perk on, it will still cool down, so you'll have a dead perk slot for 110 seconds. Finally, if a survivor is already hurt when they get the exposed status effect, you don't gain any benefit because one hit would have put them into the dying state anyway. Let's get into our video demonstration. I am going to activate this perk by kicking a generator. The activation timer will spin clockwise for 30 seconds. If a survivor interacts with the generator in this time period, they will scream and have their location revealed for 4 seconds. They will also suffer from the exposed status effect, which means you can put them directly into the dying state. You can see what the visual indicator looks like and you will be able to hear the scream now. This perk has an 80 second cooldown that occurs after the initial 30 seconds expires. This will happen regardless if any survivor has interacted with the affected generator. You can see the cooldown timer displayed here. It will rotate counterclockwise for 80 seconds until you can activate this perk again. I also cannot emphasize it enough that this perk will cool down every time you activate it, regardless if a survivor is affected by the perk. If you kick a generator during the cooldown, Obviously the perk will not work even if a survivor touches a generator again. Let's take a look at the survivor side. Michael will activate Dragon Grip by kicking this generator that I have started. When I get back on the generator, I scream and get the exposed notification. The killer then puts me directly into the dying state. Taking a closer look, you will see that the survivor will be informed that they are exposed due to Dragon's Grip. Then, the exposed timer will rotate counterclockwise for 60 seconds. Let's get into our video examples. First, I really enjoy using this perk with Freddy. You can use the visual indicator that you get from Dragon's Grip to know when a survivor has returned to an affected generator. Then, you can teleport there with Freddy's power and immediately down them. Here, I hook a survivor and teleport to a generator, but I'm not able to catch this Yui. However, I have a trick up my sleeve since I have activated the perk on the generator that they were repairing. A little bit later, I hear a scream and get the flash of the visual indicator while chasing the Cheryl. I am able to get a second hit in and hook the Cheryl before turning my attention back to Yui. I use my teleport ability back to the same generator and look who I find. Since she is exposed, I can easily put her into the dying state and get another hook. In this next game, I see a survivor who misses a skill check on a generator on the other side of the map. After I hook this survivor, I decide to head in that direction and bait the survivor into the exposed status. What I do is a common strategy for this perk. I hit the generator and immediately start to walk away to bait the survivor to get back on the generator to stop their regression. This works as you can see the survivor almost immediately tries to get back on the generator. After a short chase, the survivor runs into some toxic tonic and I hit them directly into the dying state since they are exposed from this perk. Now, a problem that I want to bring up is that sometimes survivors get keen to you using this perk and communicate it with one another. This means that they will either tap the generator and run away, or not allow the perk to activate by staying off of it for 30 seconds. This survivor seems to tap the generator and go hide, but they didn't do a good enough job and I'm able to easily put them into the dying state. Then, let's go into the final game where multiple survivors are using object. 
I'm going to start with the bait tactic and act like I can't see the survivor right here. I kick the generator and start moving away and wouldn't you know it, the survivor goes right back on the generator and I run back at them. After a short chase, I put them into the dying state and get an easy hook to start the game. I kick another generator that a survivor has just started on and I start walking towards a survivor with objects so that they will tell their teammates that they are safe to get back on the gen. Sure enough, the survivor activates the perk and I return right back to that area and put the survivor into the dying state. Finally, I kick a generator right next to a hook survivor in the hopes that a survivor will tap the generator to stop the regression before going for the unhook or that they will get on the generator right after they unhook the other survivor. The survivor ends up tapping the generator and I am ready to get my third insta down of the game. If you don't play much killer, I'm going to show you one of the most satisfying things. Even though I get stunned by the pallet, I hit the survivor through it and they go into the dying state. It's the little things in life for killer mains. Anyways, that's all she wrote and I'm able to get the 4k in part due to this perk. So let's give this perk a grade. Dragon's Grip is a 5.5 out of 10. If a survivor interacts with an affected generator, they are going to have a long expose timer that should lead to easy hooks for a killer. The reason this perk is not graded higher is that survivors will generally stop interacting with generators they see you kick after this perk converts 1 to 3 times. This is good because they leave the generator to regress for 30 seconds, but bad because you don't get the main intended benefit from this perk which is insta downing survivors. So you have to ask, is 2 to 3 exposed survivors a game worth a perk slot? For some maybe, for me not so much. I would look at the alternative of make your choice which should activate more and is better overall. It was one of the first perk reviews I made and you can check for the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to check out more perk review, make sure to look for the links in the description and visit my channel to subscribe. I also stream twice a week on Twitch if you want to stop by. Take it easy.